the county set a goal that 70% of new case investigations would begin within 24 hours. Currently, just 11% of case investigations meet that goal. Part of the reason is likely because the county does not have enough case investigators. Case investigators are the people who call and question a person who has tested positive for COVID-19. There's a real art to it because you want you're you're catching people in a really vulnerable moment, right? Like that's a not a great phone call. Rebecca Fielding Miller is an epidemiologist at UC San Diego. Um, and so you want people who are really um, empathetic and ideally multilingual and culturally competent and who can really kind of sit with people in a moment of discomfort and both provide them with resources, make it very clear that they need to self-quarantine and get this information out of them. So it's, um, it's tricky. Here's how the process works. Case investigators make a long phone call to find out who's been in contact with the infected person. Then they pass that information on to a contact tracer who calls all of the contacts of the infected person. So case investigators have to kick off the work the contact tracers do, and the county needs more of them. San Diego County currently has 270 case investigators and 232 contact tracers and is in the process of hiring and training 253 more. Fielding Miller says the county missed an opportunity to better contain COVID-19 by not hiring more case investigators earlier on in April or May. I think if we had had double or triple the number of contact tracers that that we um, set a goal for in April, we would be in a really different situation right now. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.